Hi. The next transformation is joiner transformation. This is also same like source qualifier, but source qualifier we are using uh, to join heterogeneous, sorry, homogeneous sources. But uh, if you want to join heterogeneous sources, uh, we have to create a joiner only to join the tables. So first I'm creating a new mapping with the joiner transmission. So here I'm taking two sources. So first I'm importing a new source here from file. Here I have one flat file. Okay. So this is I'm going to use one more source here. It's a comma delimiter. Finish. So we got one file EMP. Okay. The next table I'm taking DPT table. So already we created one source related to DP10 EMP tables. Okay, these are the sources we have and the table also we have target table. First I'm dragging the sources EMP file and the DPT target. Sorry, source. This is table and this is file. Both the, both the tables, uh, I mean both the sources contain the common column department number. So we can join the tables using this common column and target. Okay. So we need to create joiner transmission. Joiner is also active and connected. So th this is the joiner. So here we have two types of tables when you are joining into the joiner we will get two types of tables master and detail. So any table we can pass into the joiner first. So that is detail. This is master. Okay. So we can switch detail into master, master into detail. But we have to take a uh, less record table as a master because caches will create on master table that's why we need to select which table contain less record that table as master here okay so here you will get option to switch master to detail and detail to master okay any table we can uh, drag first after that we can change into master to detail and detail to master okay less record table need to take as master because of that cache then create the condition here department number from the table one that is master dpt table department number from second table that is detail table emp so like this if you want to create the condition on multiple columns add one more and select other condition column okay so in properties you have options join type normal join master outer, detail outer and full outer, like left outer, right outer and full outer. So based on our requirement, you have to select the type of join also. So now we are using normal join. So here also like rank and aggregator, here also we have data and index cache, the conditional level, join conditional level information, we are storing index, the remaining in data. Here also we have sorted input already if you are getting sorted data no need to sort again based on the join condition so that's why you can avoid the sort using this option. Okay so these are the default important properties here. So input output ports we have okay output we can enable and we can disable based on our requirement okay we can change master to detail and detail to master also. So from join it to target, I'm auto linking that columns. Okay, location name is different. Okay, so this is we are not using for outgoing, right? So then we can disable. Okay, so like this, we can disable the columns also. Okay, 
mapping, validate and save. Workflow, workflow create a new workflow. And new session on joiner. Okay. And next connections to the source and target. This is file, right? So you have to mention the file path. So in C, we have this file C colon backslash. And this is Scott, and this is also Scott. Okay, already table contains some data that's why I'm enable truncate option. Join already we know. Okay, save workflow, start workflow. Joiner is running. So 14 4 from DPT table, 14 from this table. Total 14 records we got. So we can check the output here. Okay, total 14 records. Okay. So like this, we can join heterogeneous sources also. So here, if you want to join n tables, n minus 1, join transmissions are required. So for example, if you have any other table, I'll show you the example, not complete the uh, Okay, I'm taking EMP or Oracle table. Okay, so in this situation, already we joined these two tables. So we have to take this joiner as a source here. Okay, this is one source. And this is one more source. So after this, you have to create one more joiner. To this joiner, we need to pass these values as one source and these values are one source okay again we can select based on the records the joiner as master or detail and next uh, third source master or detail based on the record count okay so like this every time we need to if you want to add the third table so we need to take one source joiner as a one source and other source also okay so like this if you want to join in tables n minus 1 join your transmissions are required so this is the joiner source qualifier we are using to join homogeneous tables joiner we are using to join heterogeneous tables the conditions are same in source qualifier in here also but in real time we are trying to avoid the cache related transmissions like joiner rank aggregator like that because we are working with millions of records the caches will take much memory when you are using that type of transmission automatically it will decrease the performance so that's why if we have any other possibility to create the same condition we need to use only that condition if there is no possibility at that time we need to go with that cache related transmissions Okay. Thank you.